And doing really well, so yeah, it's great to see, mate. Great to see. And you're not just saying it because you're scared of it? Absolutely not, no. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bit of a dig on him now, hasn't he? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, no, great stuff, mate. It's great to have a Coventry lad out there doing well, you know. So hopefully one day he'll be here on the pitch, fighting a bit of luck. Yeah, you've introduced me into work life, and I've seen it, and I thought yeah. I better stick at boxing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stick to boxing. I'm partly responsible for it, yeah. so. We don't know. Yeah. Hey, we don't need him moving. <laughs> what is it with these little fans? Hey, what? <laughs> Hello, welcome, I'm Joe Lee. Proud to present Hennessy Sports. Night of boxing this Saturday night, of course, headlined by Shaq and Pitters, Reese Cartwright for the WBC International Belt at 175 pounds. But first, before we start, undercard to talk about Brett McGinty. Since then, I feel every fight I've been improving and I want to continue in that same trajectory now. Improving every fight, um, it's been a really good camp. Everything's went to plan, so looking forward to putting in a good performance now on Saturday. It's a quick turnaround from my last fight, really. Three weeks, um, third fight in three months, so looking to stay active and get the ball rolling. Yeah, um, this time round, there's been you know no halts in training. We've been able to train all the way through, get better week on week. Started working with a nutritionist now as well. Um, the weights 
easy. I'm making 154 for this fight, and I was I was under the weight this morning, so I feel great. I'm ready to put on a career best performance. I enjoyed my work, and uh, I got four good rounds in, which I haven't done yet. So you know, when you're stopping people, people always say, "Can he do the rounds? Can he do the rounds?" You know. So for me, it was it was nice to get the four rounds in, and it was pretty comfortable. So yeah, I just went with it. Another great fight for you here. This one will be live on YouTube, Hennessy Sports' channel on Saturday night. I'm going to start with the Frenchman to my right. Exciting times, fighting in Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Why are you starting with the Frenchman on to your right? Why can't you start with me? I, w I was going to come to you. It's mainly about me, not him, but... For my protection. And uh, dangerous Idris. Uh, uh, with water, dangerous. Uh, <laughs> my protection. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> For my protection, I... Just me, no time, no team, no team. Maybe this is why Somebody should have searched that guy before he come in, he's carrying weapons. <laughs> I'm speechless, man, I can't believe you're bringing a water gun to a fight. <laughs> Obviously, I'm out there to make my hands do the job. You're making a water gun do your job. Silly, man, silly. Silly thing to do. What do you make of it, John? Well, you know what? I'm a, I like this guy's attitude. He's come to fight. I like it. It's good. We know he drifts. And I'm, I'm looking forward to this fight now. Uh, not as a boxing person, as a fan, I'm looking forward to it. This is the, the, the two prospects that I've been looking forward to for a while, every time they fight. Often a knockout. Uh, Stephen, I'm going to come to you first. Your opponent has 25 of those. Um, you're really starting to get in there with opponents that can cause you damage, but you're confident once again, I can imagine. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going in there on Saturday night and like to knock them guys out. I'm going in with the same intentions as always to get the knockout and it's a, a step up fight. It's my first eight rounder and I'm looking forward to getting in and showing everyone what I can do. Aaron, uh, before we talk about the fight, obviously big news for you recently, signing with Hennessy Sports. Talk to me about how that this is going to help your career, it's huge news for you. Yeah, it's massive for my career. I'm um, delighted to uh, sign with Mick Hennessy. I'm seeing the fantastic job he's been doing with my brother. I've got the chance to fight in a couple of his shows as well. And I loved it. Um, the fight on Channel 5 as well is uh, it's great. To test straight TV, you couldn't beat it. Basically, we've tried to turn a problem into a silver lining because in December, I think we're going to have both lads fighting for youth world titles on the same night, which I think is more of a spectacle. Yeah. Aaron, as he said, he's been in a situation where he's had fight after fight cancelled and nothing happened. He was just like, oh, sorry, this fight's cancelled, off you go. And now he's realised he's with the team that the opponent's medical went wrong two days ago and he's got a, a good opponent and he's still on the same show. He's still fighting for a fighter. To trust your team like that and to know that people are going to the well, it, it brings even more out of a good fighter. So, like I say, turning a negative into a positive, we've still got him on. He's going to get more rounds in the bank, more experience. And then the plan is to have two brothers fighting for youth world titles on the same night and the same show, which I think will be a massive spectacle. I promise you guys watching, you are not going to want to forget these two McKenna brothers. Thank you guys, uh, good luck on Saturday and we'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Yeah man, um, moving down my weight class, uh, got me a nutritionist and I'm feeling faster, stronger than ever. Yeah, man. Good. John? Well basically with the move down in weight class, um, Mick spoke to me after Casey's last few knockout wins and as you know, Mick's known as a talent spotter in the game and uh, Mick said to us as a team, I believe Casey will be absolute world class at like Walter. He said he's doing a job at Walter. He says, how easy does he make the weight? And we said basically he does it on his mum's cooking. And uh, Mick put us in contact with uh, like this top nutritionist and, and he says he says if he can make ten stone he says he says I believe he'll be world class like up there doing the job. I've been eating more than ever really so uh, I've always got energy. Um, I'm feeling great, looking in great shape. Um, yeah, if I if I get down to ten so I'm like <laughs> look at that abs, man. Jeez. Yeah, man, that ten so Don't worry, I'll do that in a minute as well. I've been looking at the statue. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, River Wilson, Ben, Tyler, Denny, 
English title and middleweight, this one is going to be an absolute cracker. I, I don't want to spoil the party and say it's going to be a, a great fight and then it not turn out to be, but looking at these guys' records and their last fights, watching them back, they're always in really entertaining fights. Tyler, I'm going to come to you first. Um, I heard some back and forth when I'm backstage, I wasn't there. What, what happened? Basically, little picture. He's a weird guy. You on about? I, I, I walk, I walk in at the beginning. He's like, "Oh, you all right, bro? You all right, bro?" Cameras come out. Starts leaning back. Oh, well, all this chatting shit and that. Do you know what I mean? Hey. You, you, fuck me. You're trying to suck my dick out there, right? And then you're like, "Fuck you, no." Trying to get shit on. Why you say whatever you want to say, mate? Say it all now, because when you get in the ring, mate, you get knocked out. Whatever. Simple. Simple as that, mate. Well, you're gonna get beat, mate. Saturday night, mate. You're gonna get beat Saturday night. Head's gonna get punched off. Yeah, when we when the fight got made, we was buzzing. Well, we we got made mandatory to box each other, and I was just well, obviously I said straight away, I want to fight. I want to fight Tyler. I think it's an easy, winnable fight. Um, he is okay. He's good. He, he's a good fight. I'm not saying he's not good, but I'm a lot better, and I'll prove that Saturday night. Yeah, well, obviously, it's his show. The show's in commentary around him. He's meant to be like. This is for him, do you know what I mean? But I've come to steal the show. And this is for me. It's my time now. Is, it, is this gonna is this gonna be one where it ends on Saturday night and you can respect each other, is it not? It's gonna end quick on Saturday night, I'll tell you that. Carry on. You, you, you just chat shit, man. I don't know what's wrong with you. Like you say, I make you. Oh, you're right, bro. You're right, bro. And then, oh, this guy's weird. I don't like this guy. If you don't like bro. me, why are you coming up to me, trying to like shake hands? Mate, you walk up to me, mate. Come up to me. Safe, mate. Safe. So I just went sound. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, no, oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. You can say what he wants on this stage, mate. But we've got them gum shields in, mate. Yeah, you're peppered off. Oh, right, mate. You're out of any situation. You're gonna get beat in that moment. You genuinely seem like you don't don't like the guy. I just fucking met the dickhead, do you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I do not know the guy from, you know what I mean? I don't know him, but I've met him. First impressions, the guy's a twat. Fuck off. Do you know what I mean? I've just met, I've never met the guy. You would think I've known him for six months and I've hated him or something. That's how much of a dickhead he is. Mate, I've just been pitching knocking sake, you out for that long, mate. That's how much I hate you. Oh, you're pitching. You know, banging your head off. Well, I don't think about you, don't run into my mind, bro. You know what I mean? I don't think about you Saturday, that's it. And I just think, I just think about myself, what I'm going to do. I don't think about you. Fuck that shit, man. <laughs> We've, you know what I mean? As much as I think he's an idiot, I respect him for his, his talent, his boxing always. Like, I'm not stupid, do you know what I mean? He's, he's a decent fighter, I just believe I'm better. And you said uh, in the interview we, after uh, your last fight, you believe you won that Edofia fight. Yeah. So coming into this fight, you're going to be confident as well. Rivers, um, unbeaten, likes to knock out. This is going to be entertaining. Yeah. Just relax, man. Can you actually look so tough to fuck, man? Go get a drink down your neck, man. Ciao. No, handshake, lads. The main event, the pinnacle of the fights this Saturday night. It's, it's going to be a great fight. On my right, Shaq Ampit is former British light heavyweight champion. On my left, Rhys Cartwright. Former English champion, but down at, down at middleweight. Uh, talk to me about how, how it's been coming up to like I had a, a fight middleweight, what, three, three years ago, Tyler. A fight with Tyler three years ago, to, like this time, three years ago. Uh, after that, a lot of stuff went on with me, English title. Uh, basically, British Bar took my license. I want, I want, I want help enough to fight, basically. So, my, my license was gone, took my title, I lost my mind, depression, and all that sort of stuff got me. But three years down the line, I'm back. You know, I've come back. I've I had to fight a cruiserweight just to jump back in there and knock that rust off. And then, like I say, Mick come up me with this with this offer to fight a light everywhere and turn down money, pay me, pay me down, Mick. Thank you. Yeah. So taking it, man. Well, now man to man respect for for coming back from obviously not the best period. Uh, Shaq, I want to come to you quickly. Do you feel like, although he's back now, do you feel like time away from the ring can only hinder? Uh, I'd just like to say again, you know, massive respect for him coming back as well because, um, you know, we know we see a lot of people fade away in the sport and then it's difficult for him to come back and things and I'm sure, you know, he's coming back obviously for his family and things as well and so it's good to see that as well. 
as you say, you know, he's um he's a hungry fighter. I'm sure, you know, coming back he's got a bit of a hungry fighter. Um he's got a decent record. He's a good boxer as well, as a good fighter. So I've prepared um very hard for the you know, for the best Reese Carter, right? And um, you know, I just believe myself on the night. Um I'll be, you know, really too big and too strong for him. I'm a big light every way and I know what I can put, you know, can do, I know my skills. I'm sure he believes he can win as well, he's a fighting man. Um but as always, you know, I'm going to back myself and I know what I can do. Uh, as a middleweight, obviously I've, I've only ever fought as a middleweight, that's, that's been the fight. So my main fight's been middleweight, I've dropped, you know, I've come back, I fought a cruiserweight, basically I fought a fat shit. And then, um, you know, I've come back, dropped down a light everywhere and I'm in shape now, I'm in, I'm in good shape. People might think, I know everyone thinks I'm just a fat middleweight, but, you know, it's going to show on night. I'm not a fat middleweight, man, I'm a light everywhere, so it's going to show on the night and, uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get in there and show people what I've got. Because, like I said, I'm a fighter, man. I'm, you know, I'm not made to lose. I'm made different to these guys. I'm made different. I ain't got it in me. He's not made to lose. He's a fantastic fighter, a former rich like heavyweight. As I keep saying, this is going to be a really good fight, man. Of course it is, but there's no pressure on me now. This guy's fucking light everywhere. British Commonwealth champion. I'm a fat middleweight. Are you the underdog? Of course I am. How do you, how do you I, feel I, going I'm always the underdog. I'm always the underdog. I've always been the underdog. I turn up and deal with shit. That's it. Good fight, John. Well, you know, this is what we're doing on Channel 5. You get a guy in the position to fight for a title in the main event. A lot of people are not picking Reese Cartwright. He's six foot three. No one's picking Reese Cartwright. But, but, Nobody. But Shaq did. But Shaq did. That's what no, yeah, I mean, picking you as an opponent. opponent. Not, me, not many people are ringing you up. I respect Shaq I do. I respect Shaq. And that's what this fight's going to be. It's a top of the build, domestic clash. They're the best clashes. I heard an interview, someone sent me an interview of him saying he's going to knock me out fast and I thought to myself straight away, the guy's overlooking me. He's going to come in there like an idiot. Mm, nah, by me, by me saying that, it's, it's what I know, the, uh, you know, my skills and everything I possess, you know what I mean? Um, it's my mindset, especially. Yeah, that's, 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 that's how you look at yourself. Me, my, that's, me that's, myself, look at yeah. myself. I'm not gonna knock you out. That's fine, well, man. You, two, you've two got your right to believe that as a man. Like that, make a good fight. That's yeah, why it's gonna be a great fight, fight, and that's why there's a good title on the line. But Shaq's team would not allow him to prepare badly for a guy with 23. I don't. I don't prepare badly for anyone. I think. I think. I think. It doesn't matter. Who is. I think they've done enough. I don't. Shaq. I think they've underestimated me. You might not. You might not. I'm a good fighter, but I think your team's underestimated me. Coming then back the All it matters then is that. I have not underestimated you then, because at the end of the day it's me and yourself in the ring. I don't underestimate anyone. Um, I want to be in good fights. Uh, you know, I've been, um, as you say, everyone's been saying, so we picked you up, so we believe you're a good fighter. Um, and on Saturday, you know, all will show for myself when I get the win. And you've got a nice little ring walk planned as well with JK. Um, talk to us about that. How long have you been planning that? You know what it was? Um, I've known JK for a bit. Is we've grown up around the same community, um, Smalley, Boys of Green, and Birmingham. Um, he's representing Birmingham very well. He's a big boxing fan as well, and um, you know he's visited our gym a good few times. Does things around it, a little bit in the gym with one of the fighters, but um, yeah, he's, he's just a likable person. Um, so it only made sense right now. Um, you know, me headlining a show, um, Big Bill. Um, you know, we bring it all to light now because we had the COVID restrictions before what kind of hindered a lot of things. Um, but now without those uh, COVID restrictions, we was able to go ahead and to plan. And yeah, it's going to be entertaining, but that's his focus. You know, obviously it's all good for the fans or that. What matters is in the ring and that's all I'm focusing on. I'm not focusing on any ring walk or anything. It's all good entertainment for the fans, yeah. but at the end of the day, it's all about my fist flying in the ring and that's what I'm focused on. Also, Joe, I believe that Reese has got someone walking into the ring, so we could have a rap battle as well as a, a title fight as well. I was my rapper, bang your rapper out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, my, 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 my guy's Fraser, man. He's, yeah. I'm from Alton Moor, and she's told in Leeds. He's from Errols, another she's told in Leeds. If I'm coming up, I'm bringing people up with me, man. Um, we'll, have to, we'll have to set up a uh, fight between himself and JK, man. Okay. But you know what, I'm going to back JK, man, because I know what, I don't see JK. On come on, come on. Come on, come on. Then fist that this way, guys. John, can you move those? Right out of the way, I'm back. Come down side of the way. Side of the way. Come on, guys, just move this way. Five meters away. That's perfect. John, can you move that chair in the background, please? That's perfect, guys. Cover. That's it.
That's perfect, John. Let's go, Reese. Thank you, gentlemen. Brilliant. Cheers.